Hi, Elsie. What are you doing today? We bought the tent today. Okay. Uh, where do we buy this from? Go outdoor. How much was it then, Elsie? Uh, 77 pounds. Have a discount card. All right, 77 discount card. So you went and bought this. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have to fit this up, I guess. Yeah. It's windy, so it's a large four man. You know, we did Euro Hike Sendero 4. How much is this one? 25, but uh, it's a free of charge. Oh, okay, free of charge. Yeah. So it's 77 discount card for that only. Yeah, yeah. and then it's free of charge. And the discount card is five pounds a year. Right, let's uh, do this and maybe we'll speed it up, yeah? yeah? When we film it, we'll speed it up. So yes. And we'll review it. Should we review it? Yeah. So let's do an unpacking yeah. review. So we call it unpacking and review as well. Okay, let's unpack this then. Hi Elsie. Hiya. So uh, that was a failure as you can see, it was impossible right? Yeah, really windy. Okay. So, we swap another Cold West Light um, tank. So that one, same as our outdoor company, is bought 99 pounds. This one should look like this, Westlake. Yeah. Particle two man BB. So another for the cap. The is cap. That, yeah, thirty pounds. Thirty pounds for it's same place. Same, same place. Same place. Got a refund on that other tent. We just found it impossible, didn't we? Setting it up yeah. in the wind. Really blow away. So. Yeah, it wasn't very strong. It might have been dangerous on the beach. You know, if yeah. we were on the beach, we might blow away with it. Yeah. It's so large. This yeah. one looks stronger. It's a bivy. Yeah. So it's for fishing, hopefully. Yeah. And it's still windy out there. What we'll do is we'll, we'll try. Yeah. We'll do it. But you won't be able to hear us. But we'll just do. We'll try to set it up. Every time we take something out, we'll show you on the camera. Yes. All right. That's what we'll do. Okay. Right, let's do that. So far it looks like this. Even me and Elsie can do it. I think the rear one's got a little spike on it, a little spike goes down there. These are all adjustable, these things are all adjustable. Yeah. 
like a Sure, this is, and this is for uh, wrapping it up, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it came in with, like a, a tied-on wrap thing. All right, let's get a ground sheet in. Oh, so, yeah. the hardest bit is the ground sheet. The ground sheet is the hardest bit. There's a red tag here. It means the red tag there. I just wonder if this is a smaller one-man, one-man kind of uh, bivy ground sheet but I don't think so I think that it may be the easiest way it's like what Elsie said fit the ground sheet first and then fit the tent around the ground sheet if it's not windy that is if it is you're gonna have to keep adjusting at the bottom of the ground sheet there are these yeah they obviously fit on the velcro there so these velcro bits these velcro fits on there and fit the tent around the ground sheet but we're going to use it a lot for sea fishing and these flaps are going to go out and we're going to chuck pebbles on the outside you can seal it like we'll still use the ground sheet but I mean the tent itself was easy to fit it's the ground sheet that's hard let's fit the hood on Elsie look how tall it is oh I just want to show you one thing these poles are extendable they're all kind of undo them and they come out and it fits just about right Looks like a handsome looking thing, I think, anyway. Let's put the, uh, the hood on. Well, obviously, he's having to hold the hood on. Yeah. That's what it looks like. We've got the wind rushing towards it, it's catching, catching it, and it flew off, kind of thing. So, there is a stick that comes off here, under here. But I think this is, this is used when the wind is coming this way, it should be. I think when it's going that way is not a good idea. Uh, so you know, it catches it. But apart from that, it's alright. And it, does, it didn't come with spare spare pegs for these. These go in there. They didn't come with spare pegs. They all clamp on here yeah, like that, all the way to the top. I can't reach the one all the way at the top, but it goes all the way to the top. Anyway, that's that watching oh look Elsie look what I found the screen the screen you can go there as well I guess when we release them I think it fits on there you've got a mosquito net Maybe like that. Fits it. Yeah. So the tent itself is really easy to set up. I mean, you obviously did it in high winds. Right. The ground sheet is a bit fiddly. The tent did not blow away. That that hood thing. Did. Right. I've just come to our local lake and uh, I'm going to set up the particle Westlake particle two-man BV right here it's fairly flat ground it's not windy and uh, I'm going to do it in a logical way this time ground sheet first after the ground sheet I'm going to lay down uh, the edge of the back of the BV and then work from there peg it down and work from there Okay, the wind is kind of blowing a bit. The ground sheet will blow away, as I've just discovered. It will blow away a little bit. There's a red tag in the rear, which matches the red tag on the bivvy. I've used this just to weigh it down. So now I'm going to open up the bivvy, make sure the front faces the front, and the side, the rear faces the rear. So I'm going to work around these as my guide. This is where I'm going to stake it down these corners here just remember to move everything way back and give myself plenty of room because the front of the peak is going to reach far far out now, red tag matches red tag I do notice that they give you I think it's eight I can count them two four yeah I think it's about eight 
I think you need another four more. You see what I mean? These are original ones. Original peg, uh, pegs. I'll peg them down and then you'll, I'll realise I'll need four more. Especially when the peak goes on. I need four for the peak at least. No, I need six more. I'll need six more than what they give you. Alright, so. I might better hold the camera. There's no season on here. So I'm just going to match these to this. Right in that corner. Because right in that corner is where the Velcro goes. Is. And that sticks onto that. So I'm going to put that right in that corner. And it is a bit of a review, this is. But for £99, I don't think I'm going to go wrong with it. So I'm going to peg them down one, two, and all the corners I can see at the back. And I've got the, the, the rear the rear brace kind of semi kind of uh, put together and I haven't put the front or the middle together. Now, I wasn't shown how to do this there's no instructions but my logical thinking tells me that velcro should meet velcro so the velcro on the underground sheet on the ground sheet should be uh, facing upwards meets it and I could, if I was on the beach I might leave it like this I think and then shove shingle on the top here I mean this is going to give you the maximum rain protection uh, you, I can of course give extra protection by tucking it in like that so for a venue like this probably tucking it in now if I was to reverse the ground sheet and have it facing have the velcro facing um, downwards yeah, that would work also. That would work also. And would that give me the best water protection? We could do this. It'll work both ways. I think it's easier for me to do it like this, I think. So now the water would come in, slip down there, and slide down there, and miss, miss me completely. So I've pegged out one, two in the rear ones, three, four. And the Velcro is attached. Next thing I'm going to have to do is to put the bars in. Tension the bars. And there's going to be the tension strap I've got to consider as well. The tension strap should ideally go underneath the um, ground sheet. But that's okay, I can fold that back and still do it. So a bit of wiggling and turning the... Uh, struts kind of back on itself so it comes around I've got all three I've worked I stood here in the front and I worked from the rear to the front and I didn't stand on obviously I didn't stand on, I didn't stand on the rear of the uh, big so now let's get a tension string strap Would be handy to keep a Phillips screwdriver in here because I found when my hands were wet I couldn't undo the bars. I couldn't disconnect them and there's just a simple screw. Use this as a last resort because you don't want to wear out the plastic. It's screwing in the plastic. It's a self-threading screw. It's not one of those metal M1, M3, M4 type of screws.
this completely. It's got a ridge, as I've done it accurately. I don't know whether that's a good thing. It might collect water if water is to drip on here. I'm not sure how I can flatten it. I've laid it out perfectly according to the, the size of the underground sheet. So, I'm not sure about these ones here. Maybe they, you know, one by peg. Peg it through two, wouldn't fit. For the bivy itself, lastly, these poles go along the inside, outside I mean, and um, the uh, the cap needs to go on, but with the cap, if it's any bit windy, I suggest you need some sort of uh, rope to tie it off, camping rope, and to pin that down. That's why you need extra extra pegs, definitely will blow away. This is it completed. I really needed a bivy that's got mosquitoes in it. Mosquito nets, because look, I'm next to a tree, and one thing that puts me off fishing is mosquitoes biting me. So it's got that, and it's like a really tiny, tough plastic e mesh. You've got rear, a large rear ventilation panel, uh, side rear, side up, not side rear, side ventilation panel with mosquito nets. It's got an extra clear screen, I guess, when it's pouring down rain, you can still see it out. Not too sure about this rip, this kind of rim coming up. Done it per as perfectly as I think I can. Let's get the let's get the cap on it and see what it looks like. Whereas the bivy bag is oversized, I found that the hood bag was undersized. And you, when you go to uh, put it all away, you need to spread this right out and then fold it and roll it perfectly. And I probably yeah, there's some bars you can roll it on. But otherwise it will just all bunch up on one side so it's an undersized particle to my bivy peak. Yeah, but be careful that thing clips here this is how I've done it clips here here and I think number two up there so put them on With three pegs left for my other brolly so the last bar to go in is this bar I'm not sure how well it will stop the wind if it was to suddenly catch it it'll just flip it uh, it's not stiff or anything and uh, Oh, 
If I was in any strong wind, head-on wind, definitely these would come in handy and I would tie down here, down onto the ground, here, down onto the ground and peg it. I'd probably tie the rear down as well. That'd be all on the hood. Maybe I won't be able to reach. It's quite difficult to reach those top top clips and clips under that middle bar. I just about reached it. Put my feet underneath here like that. I'm not sure I'll be maybe about five foot ten, I'm five foot eight to reach that. Just lift up one of these, see what they look like. See, I, can, I can roll this up and put that in there. Plenty of space. But it's a huge space, really. That's what it looks like inside, hooking out. Uh, it's great, really, I guess. Possibly the last thing that you might need. You can shove everything in there. And more. So it's a bit, if it was heavy wind, like I said, strong wind, definitely just from the design, that's going to flip backwards and hurt someone. Uh, okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here's my little bit of a view on the Westlake Particle Bivy two person. It's three meters that way, I think, nearly three meters that way. 1.6 going up and down I think one but probably more than that I've got my I'm 1.72 with shoes on now so it's actually probably about 1.7 meters high anyway thanks for watching I do a little bit of fishing here I mean not allowed to ledger in this but I don't think many fish are coming out so this is a prolific lake it's no like here uh, uh, concentrate a bit more. I haven't even got the right bait. Need a pint of maggots or something. I've got, I haven't even got my rod pod. So, as you can see, I'm float fishing <laughs> with a swing, swing wave, of course, it's white swing indicator. Because any minute when it goes dark, I won't be able to see it. But anyway, I should pack up my dippies before me slip out before it gets dark but anyway thanks for watching hit the like button leave any comments i'm no expert at this but i think i did this okay the next thing letterbox style is available zip it up put it down so i think that's this is as versatile as you can get for the fight very good